Hey friends, it's Jenna, also known as Empty Hanger. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my third and final video in my series all about shoes. So if you don't know, I am a full-time fashion and clothing seller over on the Poshmark app and I love sharing my tips and tricks with you all. And I've done this three-part video series on shoes and part one was about shoe cleaning and part two was about shoe photography. I'll link those videos up above so you can check them out if you haven't seen them. But part three, which is today, is going to be all about shoe storage and shoe shipping so let's go ahead and get into the video okay so let's talk about my shoe storage and I like to utilize the actual shipping boxes for shoe storage on Poshmark you can ship your shoes or any of your items in the priority mailboxes that you can get free from the post office and my favorite size for shoes is obviously the shoe box which I'm gonna grab right here so this is the shoe box which you can order on their website the USPS website I'm gonna link down below this size and there is another size that's like a large square box that I will use for boots but a majority of the shoes that I sell do fit in this rectangular shoe box and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this box together I need to grab some tape okay so I'm gonna put this box together and this is what I'm actually going to store my shoes in um, I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much have it prepped for shipping And let's do the first pair of shoes that we um, photographed. So we have this pair of fluffy Steve Madden mules. So we need to now um, bag them. The other supplies that I'm gonna use is this huge roll of butcher paper. And I use this to stuff my shoes to keep them in shape while they're in storage, while they're shipping. So what I wanna do, I wanna stuff the toes of these so they don't get crushed. So I'm just gonna take some of this paper ball it up and I'm just going to stick that in there so again now it's um doesn't get crushed and then I'll do that again so again just sticking that in there so now those are both stuffed and good to go but I need to protect them while they're in the box and while they're being shipped so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a clear um, poly bag and I will link these down below as well so everything will be linked down below but I put one shoe in one bag and I'm gonna just put it like this and seal it up so that is what it looks like sealed up I just um, you know folded it up in the bag and there you have that and now I'm gonna do the other one so there we have both shoes are in their individual bag that way when they are stored or in shipping they can't rub against each other and scuff and mess each other up so that way they are just both ready to go and I'm going to take my shoe box I'm gonna put both of the shoes in there and there's a lot of room in there so I don't want to just close it up because then the shoes are just gonna go everywhere so I take the same um, butcher paper and I stuff the box with it You don't have to do it too tight like you just want to make sure that the thing the shoes aren't gonna jiggle around so if you shake it they aren't gonna move and then I'm just gonna close this up and tape it again so this is how I would ship my shoes for Poshmark I would just put the label on it but we're not shipping it yet we're just storing it they haven't sold so how am I gonna know what the heck is in this box let me show you so I showed in my June favorites video this handy little HP sprocket printer and this is what I use to identify what shoe is inside the box I like to actually print a um, photo a cover shot from my Poshmark listing and I like to tape it on the outside of the box so I can see exactly what shoe is in there you could if you didn't want to print out um, a picture which you could print on a regular printer you don't have to use this little printer um, the HP sprocket you could definitely use a regular printer or you could just write it on a label and stick it on the box so either way whatever works best for you but I'm gonna go ahead and print the photo for those shoes so I can show you exactly what I mean
so after it comes out there is the picture I put the size on it and I'm just going to tape this onto the box and I just tape it on there is sticky on the photo but I tape it on because that way I can easily take it off when I'm about to ship and I put it on the end and then I just stack these up and that's how I store my shoes so I can easily find them. And then when it comes time to ship, I just take this off, stick on my Poshmark label. So let's do one more pair, just to show you one more pair. So I'm gonna do these Vince um, shoes that we just photographed as well. And same as before, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-package them. So I'm just gonna take the paper. And I'm stuffing them so again they don't get crushed. Taking my clear bag. And that's what it looks like in the bag. I'm going to do the other shoe. So now I've got both my shoes ready for storage. And I'm just going to take my priority mail shoe box again and make this real quick. And then I'm just gonna put these in here. Again, there's a ton of room in there, which I don't want because I don't want them moving around and shipping. Take our paper, stuff it, and then we're gonna close her up. So again, now I need to put the photo on there. So I'm just going to take my printer again. shoes and again I just want to tape this on the box and there you have the shoes with the photo so I do that to every shoe and then I just stack these one on top of the other and you can easily see what shoe is in the box and that's how I store them that's it for my shoe storage and shipping process and hopefully that helps you and makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below, but I definitely think it's a lot easier to store your shoes in a way that you're going to be shipping them. It might take a little more time in the beginning getting them stored, but it definitely saves you time in the shipping part of the process. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.